Hi! In this video, I will show you how to edit rooms and floor plans. I'm ready, let's get started. As you can see, we're inside a project of mine, so now we want to keep working on it and we want to start assembling rooms. I select a room, I tap on it for two seconds until it turns blue, then I can rotate it if I want and I can position it where I need it to be. If I use these bigger signs, you see this green area, then the room will be assembled using the walls as a reference. But instead, if I use these little dots, then the corners will be used as a reference. I let the room go and it will be automatically positioned. Now, I can also tap on my bedroom if something like this happens, so you land inside your room because you tap too shortly on a room, no panic, simply tap on edit layout and you're back to this page. So we can assemble this room here and I can also move the bathroom. In case you assemble a room in the wrong position, you can always tap on the undo arrow and you can move the room around, for example, like this. Okay, now let's enter the bedroom and let's imagine that we want to make this room a bit wider. We simply tap on a wall and we can pull it out, for example. You see that the green dots help us positioning the wall. We let go. Okay. But maybe I just want to make a part of a room wider or smaller. I don't want to pull the entire wall out. I can also do that as an example. Let's take the bedroom again. I can tap here and I can add a corner. And from here, I can make my part of room a bit smaller or a bit bigger. Here, I would like to add an important note because if you want to make sure that you have 100% accuracy in your measurement, you can select the little blue number of the uh, wall or of more walls, of course, and connect a Bluetooth laser meter simply from here. Maybe you do not have a Bluetooth laser meter, but you know the measurement, then you can also type manually. For example, here we can do 380 and we tap on apply. This procedure allows you to lock the measurement. As you can see, a little padlock appears near the number. This means that if I accidentally move something, the app will ask to confirm if you want to change that lock dimension. In this case, we say cancel. We don't want to change it and you see that the wall stays like that. Now, let's imagine that I would like to add color to my project. I can do that. I select a room as an example. I tap on the eye for the info section and here we have room color and we can select a blue one, for example, and voila, the primary bedroom changed color. For some reasons, we don't wanna have the closet anymore. We simply wanna have a wider primary bedroom. What do we need to do? We select a room, we tap like two seconds on it, and on the left side menu, you see the option Merge Rooms. We select that and we merge it with the closet. Voila, and now we have a bigger room. Pay attention because the closet is now gone. So also in your statistics, the primary bedroom is one room together with the space that you had dedicated to the closet before doing this change. But if you would like to have the statistics calculated separately for some reasons, then let's undo this option. And instead of merging the two rooms, you can select here, let's enter the closet. We select the wall that we do not want to have there. And we simply tap on delete from the side menu. Now you will see that we have the two rooms that are separate, but there is no wall in between. So if we go in the 3D view, you will see that the two rooms are displayed together. If you want, you can also give a personalized name to your room. So for example, here, the bedroom, we could rename it Bedroom Sylvia, which is me in this case, and we save it, and you will see that it will be displayed too. 
Just as a side note, if you give a year longer name to a very small room, for example, here to the closet, once you zoom out, the name may not be displayed, but it's saved there. Then, if for some reasons we want to create two smaller rooms out of a big room, we can do that. How does it work? It's super simple. We select the room that we want to split. We tap somewhere on the wall where we want to have the, uh, the, the new wall, basically, and we select split room. Voila! And the room has been split in two parts. If you like the result, it's perfect. If you don't like it, don't worry. You simply have to tap on the undo arrow and you're back to your one single room. But sometimes I get the question, how does it work if I don't want to have an entire wall splitting my room? I just want to have a part of it. It's absolutely fine. You can do that too. We take the hallway again as an example. We zoom in a bit and we tap here. So let's imagine that we want to add a part of wall in this area. From the left side menu, we select the option Add Wall. Voila! This wall can be resized, right? You see here, you can tap on the little number. We can make it like this. This wall behaves as any other wall on your project, so it can be moved along the room, but it will always be with a 90 degrees angle if you want to add a wall that can be rotated differently you have to go in the object section and you will add a partition wall so this one is an object and can be rotated and added anywhere in the room and last but not least if you already created a big room but you would like to add a smaller room inside it you can do that you just have to create some space so I will tap on the wall here. I add a corner from the menu and I pull in this part of wall. Now I'm gonna add a closet, for example. So you see here we have created some space. We tap on insert room. We add a filler. So insert a filler, filler room. I look for the room type I need, closet. And I position this arrow here and voila the room has been added to the bigger room and you can keep editing your project. I hope you enjoyed this video and I will see you in the next one. Bye.